would never cry to a Frank Ocean song. Let's be honest. I am a man. Uh when I was in my wickedness and I was trying to get closer to God and I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Everything around me was just crashing and I didn't know what else to do. I prayed to the Lord for two years about the same thing. He did not answer me at all. He gave me one sign and that sign said, wait and see. I continuously prayed time and time again and got no answer. I would pray and ask the Lord to send someone else to relay the message because I'm not hearing anything on his end. It wasn't until I was 27 years old that I was able to hear the Lord's audible voice. But why did it take me so long to be able to hear him? All those times I was seeking the Lord and actively trying to hear his voice, I was still very much so actively living in sin. I had not died to the world yet. I was seeking the Lord and desperate for an answer, but I wasn't really changing that much on my end. The only difference was that I was going to church and praying a little bit more often, but it was still very evident that I wasn't taking my relationship with God that serious. Once I gave up sin, my prayers were also different. I was no longer praying for immediate answers or in a confused state of mind. I was just praying for a relationship with him. I was expressing gratitude. I was humbling myself before the Lord. I was fasting and praying. And eventually, he allowed me to hear his voice for the very first time. My sin definitely kept me from having that relationship with the Lord. And sometimes the Lord doesn't answer us, not because he's ignoring us, but because he's waiting on us to get our act together. But I truly loved and cared about suffering and eternal torment in hell simply because they didn't know Jesus. Well, this girl said that she stopped being a Christian and one of the reasons was because of the fact that all the people she loved who weren't Christians would go to hell and she couldn't bear that. So she just stopped being a Christian. That's like saying, well, you know what? Since my friends were in a building that was burning, I decided that I would jump in the burning building too because I just couldn't bear for them to burn. Hiding from the truth doesn't negate the truth. I'm glad you asked this question. I, I actually talked about this in the podcast episode that I released that's coming out tomorrow. One of the biggest lies that Satan has managed to convince us of in this culture and society is that what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. In other words, I can have my secret sin. I can have my secret life. I can do, I can be the God of my world. I can be the God of my universe. I can do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, and it's only going to impact me. And so therefore, it does not matter what I do because what I do just impacts me and nobody else. I never said that the consequences of sin are our own. No, no, my sin impacts you. Your sin impacts the people you love. The way that sin works, because it is a toxic cancer, is that our sin all impacts each other. Satan wants us to believe that we can have our little secret, private, hidden sins and it, doesn't, it isn't going to impact anybody else. But that's just not true. So it's not that child's sin that causes a child to have cancer. It's the sin in the world that causes the child to have cancer. That is the reality of sin. And that is why we desperately need Jesus to rescue us. Because he's the only one that can not only stop the cancer of sin within our soul, but can redeem us and take those awful things and use them for his kingdom and his glory and his good. We're gonna to get to heaven and we're gonna see how God took a lot of really awful things and made really amazing things out of them. God took a brutal, murderous man and made him the founder of our church. His name was the Apostle Paul. So it isn't always my sin that just kills me, but my sin also hurts you. Take a look around, guys. Look on TikTok and look at how many people are preaching a false gospel, saying Jesus isn't God, saying you can't say amen, all, talking about all types of other things. Look at it. Do you see? When do you think there's going to be a time 
in the history of the world that, that there's going to be more. Like, there's so many false teachers and false gospels arising right now. Do you see? We're near the end. You're right. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. God, do you really protect me? Yes, I do protect you. I don't know, it just feels like I just don't feel you sometimes, and I just don't feel like you're there. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Instead, rely on my truth. I will never go back on my word. Draw near to me, and I'll draw near to you. I am your refuge, and I am your strength. I protect you from so many things that you don't even see. How to say led by the spirit in Japanese. Kami ni michibikareru. <laughs>